Hello, welcome back everybody. We are back once again with some back-to-back -back Project Ozone 2. I really wanted to say that, I don't know why. Aha, <laughs> uh -huh. so check this out. Oh me, oh my. We have finally hit about a stack of neutrons in our neutron collectors after uh, goofing around setting up that Botania stuff. So it is harvest day today, guys, and the way we're going to do this, I think... Because these are so slow and we only need a certain amount from them, rather than... I Like, we could hook up item conduits, one to each of these, but if we're going to have, like, a ton of them, like, probably several hundred, um, that's probably going to cause a lot of lag, so instead of... Oh, we just hit 64. We just hit 64. Oh, man. <laughs> instead of, like, hooking up conduits to this, I think we're going to try to do it this way. We'll turn on our magnets before we harvest them. And then vein miner them. And then all the neutrons should jump into our inventory. Let's go over to the area where we have more of them. Yeah, so over at our farm here, we have 56 of these set up. They are full as well. So I'm going to stand in the middle here and vein miner. And hopefully they don't go over the edge. I think we're good. I think we're good. And then we'll just dump them into our bag. Like so. Should work out pretty good, I think. As long as I don't throw them over the edge. <laughs> yeah, we got 64 of the collectors back. That's how many we had originally. And then, when it's time to place them again, I think we can just do something like this. We'll set up an 8x8x8 by eight by eight cube of these, and that'll probably be all we need to, to get our wand of animation, hopefully. And we can place them with the wand of... Diamond. <laughs> I thought it had a fancy name. It's just called a diamond wand. Um, and that should be a pretty quick, like, harvest and replace method, I think, without causing all the lag from, like, 500 uh, item conduits connecting to them, you know? Uh, so what I would like to do is get seven more uh, rows of these. So that's going to be 448 more, and I'm going to work on that now uh, while we get settled in here for today. Okay, uh, never mind. I guess we are playing a waiting game right now. To get 448 more of these neutron collectors, we need these four crystallized redstone for each one, right? So that's 1,792. We only have 433. That's been running since we made that first batch of them. So it might take a bit of time here. What we should try to do is maximize the speed of our laser thing here. Like this has been running for hours, I'm pretty sure. Um, and we only got 400 in that time. So we are going to max this out as much as we can. And then we'll have to like just do other stuff while we wait for it to finish, I guess. So I'll try to hook these up. I was able to add like another 80 onto here, but it's pretty much maxed out unless we really butcher the, the look of it. Right now there's four of them running, four sets of these. So it's this speed times four, basically, which is uh, pretty slow. <laughs> uh, but we'll get them eventually. We'll just have to wait. We got other things we can do. That's like for the late game uh, rush, which we got lots of stuff to, to do in between that. So I think we'll work on some other random quests here today. Uh, last time we did set up the Botania stuff, so maybe we'll head over there real quick. And we will finish a couple quests in our book here. A couple easy ones. So we need the runes, right? We automated this, so we need summer and spring. I think I actually made those, yeah. Summer and spring. Since last episode, what I did is I, I finished making the recipes for this. So we have all 16 different types of runes programmed into here. So we just have to queue them up in our, our AE system here when we want to make them. All right, let's claim this one. And what do we need here? Pride, Wrath, Greed, Lust. All right, do we have any of those? We have Lust, Greed. I might have like made all these while, while putting the recipes in, actually. <laughs> wrath, did I do that one? Yeah, and Pride. We have Pride, too. Okay, I guess I made them all. So we'll just hand in the quest. Awesome, very good. So now that this thing's automated and we have all 16 of the, the rune recipes in there, what we can do is just go to rune and we can like auto craft any of these that we want. It'll drop the items on the on the thing here. 
shoot some mana at it. When it finishes, the vacuum chest picks it up and puts it back in here. So that's all good. Uh, we automated the apothecary last time, and there are some recipes we should add. There's four like uh, flower quests here, so let's maybe do at least one of these together, and then I'll do the rest off camera probably. Oh, I went all the way out. Okay, what's what's the recipe here, guys? It is two orange petals, one red, earth and fire. Okay, so let's go to ruins. Well, I guess uh, the first thing you got to add is a water bucket. And then let's do the petals, I guess. So it's two orange, boop, boop, and one red. Then we need our runes. Earth and what was it? Fire. And then we got to drop a seed on it to finish the crafting. And since we don't have any of those thermal lilies made already, usually what I do is I'll just put a random item in there first. And then I'll throw it in here. And then I'll tell it to craft one torch. Hopefully this works. Is it all good? Um, hmm. <laughs> this did not pick up the stuff for some reason. That was kind of odd. Uh, let's try this one more time. Maybe this isn't perfect right now. And then I'll I'll add the f the finished product in there and replace this one, like so. I don't know if there's a quicker way to, of doing that, but that's usually how I I handle it. Let's try this again. Huh? Oh, I know what's wrong. It's because there was some water in here when we started the crafting, right? So let's just break that. Apothecary. Put it back, it'll be empty. That should uh, take care of the problem. What were they called? Thermal lilies? Need two more of those. Hopefully it works this time. Yeah, now it sucked it up. Okay, good. <laughs> Alright, that should be the first quest done. We got four. Yeah, that one's done. Awesome. Uh, I added the recipe for the Endo flames here. We'll try that one out. And I just have it as bone meal right now. Okay, we'll make one. Looks like it's good. Then we take our endo flame, add it here to make our finished one. Take that out, put that back in. Okay. One, two, three. And you get the gist of it. So we got to do that with uh, two more of these. The Rosa. Is this anything expensive in here? No, just cheap, nice and cheap. This one is just petals. Okay, so those are both really cheap. That got sucked up. All right, grab those. Should be another one done. And that one's done. Cool. Let's open up our bags here. We got a good one. Ooh, more eyebrows. An epic bag. Oh, we got that quite a few times already. Another magnet. Ooh, oxygen tanks are good. Those are kind of cool. All right, guys. So I think the main thing we're going to check out today, we're going to take a journey down the Theta quest line here. We're 40% done that. We haven't touched any of this RF Tools dimensional stuff yet, so I think that would be pretty fun. Uh, we'll check it out. It looks like we need like one of every type of machine here. So I think what we'll just do... Instead of looking at the book constantly and like getting lost always, like I, I tend to, <laughs> we're just gonna create everything uh, with dimensional in the name, anything with uh, dimlet in the name, and then hopefully it will finish most of the quests for us. Okay, what do we have? Oh, we have all that. There's a creative one. Oh boy! I bet you that lets you choose exactly how you want your dimension to turn out, right? Oh, what's missing here? We need redstone and diamonds. What? Everything's in block form? Yeah, 300,000 almost. Wow. All right, let's try this again. Dimensional editor. We will grab one of these. And now let's check out dimlet. Pretty much anything with dimlet we'll probably want here. Dimlet filter, sure. Let's try... Oh. Okay, we need one of those. Now we make that. Good dimlet researcher. We've been getting these unknown dimlets from mob drops. I think you got to get them from like searching dimensions though as well. 
Okay, very good. One more thing here. We need the Dimlet Workbench. And now let's check out the book and just see how many of these we actually finished. None. <laughs> uh, oh, let's just uh, grab those unknown Dimlets. Should have a thousand. So they're kind of rare, but not really. Okay, that's done. Oh, it gives you one of these too. I, I think you need that to actually create a world. Modular storage. Ooh, okay. Modular storage. Let's narrow right down to it. Good. That's done. Matter receivers. Uh, let's do let's do a few of them. And then transmitters. Okay, we got a full stack of each of those. That's more than we need by far. I'll take the bag. Why not? We have plenty of hearts. Okay, and now, like, it gave us one of those, right? Does that count, or do we have to craft it? It is a crafting task. Okay, so I guess we actually have to make one anyway. Man, I thought we got a, a good deal there. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll make a, a stack of them. Okay, that's done. Most of these are pretty easy. The shards, I think we have to go to a dimension to get those. Uh, this is module storage tier 2 and tier 3. So that's for a storage system. We're not going to actually use that. We have added a recipe for this one. Let's make more. Because we probably need those for the tier 2s. Okay, get some chests. That's our tier 2. Quartz. Okay, that's our tier 3. And uh, let's just hand that quest in, and then I think we'll take a little break from the crafting here. <laughs> we got so much crafting we need to do, and it, it gets kind of tedious if you do too much at once, so... Um, okay, so let's let's pop down our machines here and just see what we all got here. Dimensional Builder. Uh, researcher, I think we'll need. Scrambler, I don't know what that does. Editor. I've only done this once, uh, when we did the Skyblock as Team Canada, so I'm trying to hope, hopefully remember what to do here. <laughs> uh, we'll throw away the, the modular storage, we don't need that. Don't know what the Dimlet filter does either, actually, so I'm not gonna bother with it just yet. This looks important, though. Okay. Uh, let's just run cables to this, we'll get them powered while we test them out here. This one doesn't take power? Okay, interesting. The rest of them do, though. So if I remember right, what you got to do is right-click. Oh, maybe not. I thought you had to right shift right-click or something with this and then put the dimlets inside. Maybe you just pop it in here. Nope. <laughs> oh, man, I don't remember anything. Okay, well, let's check out Dimlet Researcher. So let's put one of these in here and see what it gives us. I think it'll pop out a random thing, right? Special shelter dimlets. Generates a better sheltered spawn platform in the dimension. Ooh, fancy stuff. If we right click on this, nothing happens, right? Okay. So maybe we got to put this in a machine. Is it this one? Did that go in there? Or did it go back up here? It went back up there. Okay. Um. Oh, it's this one. This one. What we got to do, I think, is pop this in here and then we can add our dimlets here right so if we put that one in okay it's a realized dimension then we can take them out too i think by extracting there and then when we want to create the world we pop it here right and it consumes a bit of power wait a second i just noticed like if you look at the the Wayla, this thing holds a billion RF, right? We put this in here. All that power is gone. It went into here. It's draining one million RF per tick. That's nuts. <laughs> so I don't think we're going to be able to get this to work until we upgrade our power, actually. Uh, I made a dialing device here. I set up the receivers and transmitters, but I don't think... Yeah, we can't dial anymore, right? Oh, wait. Oh. Um, do we go in? I'm not sure. Okay, tell you what. Before we go in... Also, we're, like, really draining our batteries here. <laughs> Minus uh, 180,000 per tick. That's not good. 
Uh, this seems like it can be charged. Boop, boop, boop. Okay, it's only 200,000. That sure takes a long time to charge, though. All right. I think anywhere we are in the world, we can get back with this, maybe. Okay. Uh, let's open up our bags before we go through. Garbage, garbage. Oh, that's good. I don't know if I've gotten one of those before, actually. Coins. Another record. Speed belt. Yeah, nothing. I don't think we're going to get anything good unless it's a legendary bag. Then there might be a chance of something good. Okay, let's just throw this stuff away. And I guess we'll go through here. I think you can go through even if it's out of power, right? It's just not stabilized. It looks like it. Okay. We should be able to get back to, I'm hoping. <laughs> oh, man. But I don't know for sure. Um, is What's the deal with these worlds? Oh, what? Okay, maybe we need power, guys. I think we actually need power. It just died to a collapsing world. If we respawn... Game crash? Okay, we're back here, but... Oh, we lost everything. <laughs> oh, that is not good. What do we do now? I'm going to let this fully charge. And then... Okay, I got to get this into a soul bag again, because I don't want to lose this for sure. Um... Oh man, that sucks. Uh, I wonder if this will work. We have to go in, get our stuff if we can, and then quickly get out before the, the dimension collapses, because we won't be able to keep it powered for very long. Um, what we'll do, though, is set up our Tesseract next to it, so it'll use all our power available here, all at once, which is quickly running out. Oh boy. Okay, um, soul bag. How do we do this again? need magical wood or something, right? Is it four? Nope. Uh, I don't remember. Oh, it's just two. Okay. Okay. So even if we die again, we'll get that back. Okay. I'm not doing so good. Uh, we might use a portal gun to get back to here. Is another idea. Oh boy, okay. Um, <laughs> I think this is the worst uh, situation we've been in, actually. Now that I think about it. There's a good chance we won't get our stuff back here. How's our power holding up? We need this power to last. Just a little bit longer. There's uh, 3 billion in there. Hopefully that'll keep this running for a couple seconds at least. Okay, and... What's the plan here? This is ready, right? We gotta put this back in. Let's put the test rack down first, so this should get tons of power instantly. And then we'll throw this in. Left click. Okay, we gotta right click. No. Go, 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 go. Come on, we're losing our power, man. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's there. Uh, I brought a pick. Give me my stuff. Oh, quickly. Oh, why do we have so much garbage, guys? Why? Oh, no. I don't think we can get this all on in time. Oh, what's missing? Okay. Dude, there's so much garbage here. Okay, that goes on. Um, Did we get our bag? Can we... Oh, taxes. We got taxes back. Um, I'm looking... Oh, I did get it. Okay, I'm just going to... Honestly, let's just do this. Okay, and then... This doesn't work. Okay, that's what I was afraid of. <laughs> uh, hopefully this works. Teleport. Get me out of here. Oh! <laughs> okay, let's hurry, actually, because uh, we can fly. Yeah, we can fly. Because we're losing all our power, and we don't want that to happen. So let's go back. I think we picked everything up, right? 
I'm gonna have to watch a video back there, but that was uh, that was a kind of a close call, guys. I'm not gonna lie. And we are going this way. Okay. Okay. Take that out, and hopefully stops using up all our power. I'm gonna break this cable actually, just to make sure. Okay, I gotta get reorganized here. This is gonna take a while. All right, guys. I think we are good to go here once again. I got the inventory sorted out. And as far as I can tell, we didn't lose any items, but maybe I'll find out, you know, like later I might realize, oh, that's gone. But I think we got everything back. And that was our third official death in this mod pack since we started, so we'll add another head to the wall here. Um, I thought it was going to be like Mistcraft, like where you take damage over time if it's an unstable dimension, but uh, no. <laughs> it just straight up kills you. If, uh, if there's not enough power. So now I know. And I'll never do that again, I guess. Learn from your mistakes, right? Alright, everybody. Well, maybe for the rest of this episode, we'll look into our power situation again. Try to improve it. Uh, we made this machine to auto-craft solar panels for us. It works pretty good. Um, we're going to use it a little bit more here. But long term, I guess they have an EMC value. So we'll just duplicate them. Seems to be the easiest way. But that only works up until 1st, 2nd, and 3rd tier. Here's the exception. We can't do it for 4th, 5th, 6th, or 7th tier solar panels. Not until we hit tier 8. Then they have an EMC value again. 9, 10, 11. Then the final step doesn't. But we'll want to mass produce these ones, I think, um, using EMC. It's way cheaper. I added up the cost. It's way cheaper to get these than to like create the, the lower tier ones and then actually do the crafting. Um, the cost of the ingredients is way higher at the lower tier than the higher tier. So what we want to do is try to get up to these these tier 8s, I guess. And I think we left off at like 5. So easiest way to do this is this, to take the 3s. So that's the highest level we can create. And then start duplicating them. Throw them into our, our things here. Star... Grab some nether stars, toss those in here, and hopefully we'll be able to get to tier 8 pretty quick doing this. Okay, let's uh, let's take this out and just see what happens. So we got a couple stacks already, throw them into our crafting machines, and just see what happens. Uh, I think this one, right? Yeah. I don't think anything happened. <laughs> It's missing something. Why can't it make the tier 4s? Uh, is it machine bases? No, it's got those. Oh, did I disable this, maybe? Oh, that's what it is. Okay, that makes sense. So let's throw these in. Looks like it ran out of machine bases. So let's go back up here. And I think we can EMC those two. Huh, why didn't it take it out of there if we had some? I thought we had that hooked up. Alright, let's get some stars. We'll throw that in there. We'll duplicate those. Good stuff. Alright, so I dumped a whole bunch of the tier 3 solar panels in here. Machine bases, chipsets. And now I think we got enough to make a tier 8. I think 64 tier 5s is good enough for it. And we'll go over to just our crafting system here to do it. Um, so let's look at solar panels again. Hopefully we have all the ingredients here. So we want to try to make sixes first. As many as we can. Let's, uh... I guess let's dump this stuff in here, right? Let's try that one more time. Hopefully we can make 16. Or th I think it's 16 we need. Yeah, okay, good. Whew. And then we take those. Try to make sevens. Or is that six? I think I hit six again. Seven. Should make four. Oh, dump those in. Okay, we got four of those. And now tier eights should get one. Awesome. Cool. So with that, let's not lose this. <laughs> Took a lot to make that one. We'll get it in here, and then we'll start duplicating those. And then it should be easy to get to the, the tier 11s, I think. Okay, let's put a few in. We need four of those to make a tier 9 solar panel. Do we have the ingredients to do it is the question. 
tier 8, tier 9. So it takes emerald chipsets. Do we have those? Yes. Okay, cool. Um, let's make four of those. Or as many as we can, actually. Uh, I guess that's it. Okay, let's try to do a 10. That's over here. Oh, it's just the chipset again. The emerald one. Okay. Um, then we'll duplicate a few of these. Alright, and that should get us up to tier 11, and then we'll stop there, I think. Okay, let's go one more time here. Solar panel, tier 11. Oh, wait, what does, uh, what's that middle thing? Okay, it needs something more expensive now. Infinity stars. Oh, we can't do those. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, tier 10 is as far as we get for right now. But they produce, what is it, uh, 131,000 RF each. That's pretty good. So we would need like uh, eight or so to keep this thing running, right? And only during the day, though, unfortunately. Let's try putting it on top here to see what happens. Okay, is that running at 100%? Oh, wow, they have a huge storage, too. 124 uh, billion? No, million. Okay. Uh, do they not connect to this directly? Oh, no, it is going up by quite a bit. Okay, good. Awesome. So I think we'll just have to have a big wafer of these uh, somewhere. All right, with eight of them, our power production has, should have gone through the roof here. Yeah, 500,000. Wow. 21 plus 12. 21 plus 12. 33? I think we got 33 of them down here. And that's giving us... Just about plus three million per tick. Woohoo! <laughs> All right, so that should keep us going for quite a while. We can easily expand onto that now. So I'm not too worried about our power. That's pretty cool. And did we do the solar quest? Oh, we got to start all the way at the starts. Ooh. But we did that one. Did that one. Uh huh. We did a bunch of these actually. Did that one? Oh, maybe we just go to the first tier ones. Oh, and second. First and second. Okay. Should we try to do that just to get those out of the way? Finish up the quests. Hopefully we got ingredients. Looks like we're going to do that one. And... Oh. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. Thankfully it didn't use up all the chipsets. We had 14 left. Just barely made it. Okay, let's throw that in there. Gotta get one of those. And now, yo, look at this big giant ring. All done. Woohoo! Oh, listen to this beautiful sound. <laughs> we did so many quests today. It's insane. And most of them were pretty easy. Now that we're our infrastructure is set up so well. Okay, so that's tier 11. Unlocks a quest somewhere else. Ooh, I wish we could have done that. That's a lot of stuff. I don't feel like doing that right now. Okay, let's open up our bags, and then I think we'll probably call it there for today. A Starfield Creator. Oh, hello. That makes the sky look really cool at nighttime. It's it's just a decorative thing. Uh, golden apples. Dirt chest, not useful. Oh, that's cool. Chunk loaders. More tanks. I like that. Gotta be careful with those. Flamethrower. Did we get that? I don't think we've gotten that before. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> uh, let's go to the mining world. Just because I don't know what it does. This could be fun. There's no trees here, though, is there? No. Ah. Oh, actually, I think I have seen this before. Was it in this pack or was it in a different one? I can't remember. Oh. <laughs> it doesn't light the ground on fire, though, huh? No. That's oh, still pretty cool. And it cooks the meat. Yeah, it does. Cool. Cool, cool. All right, guys. Well, hopefully you enjoyed today's episode. Thank you for watching, as always. And I will see you again in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.